Welcome back painting friends. Today we're going to paint a cute little mouse in our Critters with Hot Cocoa series. The colors you're going to need are blue, white, brown, pink, red, yellow, purple, and black. I always use my favorite four brushes, my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. And remember, if you like what I'm teaching you, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel so you have all of our videos right at your hand and you know when I upload new ones. So let's get started. Uh, my little mouse critter is going to be sitting on a ledge. So I'm actually just going to take a little bit of blue on my one inch flat brush and make a line across my canvas. And what this is going to do is it's going to separate my sky, which is essentially my window, from the little ledge that my mouse is sitting on. So with this, I'm gonna take some blue paint and just kind of make some random lines going top to bottom on my canvas. I can then take white paint and drop those lines in there as well. And I'm now gonna take these colors and really just kind of blend them together. I'm okay if I go below my line a little bit I'm also okay if my colors don't mix all the way. I want to have it to be a little streaky. I do not have to wash my brush off because I really like the way that brown and blue mix together, but I'm going to take some brown on my brush and I'm going to straighten up this line right here and paint everything below this line with a uh, horizontal left to right brush strokes, filling in this space with brown. To make this look a little bit more like wood grain, I'm going to take my brush and wipe it off, not wash it off, but I'm going to take a little bit of yellow paint and just drop some yellow randomly on this brown. And then wiping my brush off again, I could just pull these colors across. So there's a little bit of yellow mixed in with that brown to give it more of that wood grain look. And I'm going to do that again with just the smallest amount of black. So less black than I had yellow, but wipe that brush off and I can pull those colors across as well. So we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our mouse and our cup of hot cocoa. So with the dry background, I'm gonna go in and lay out where my cup and my mouse are gonna go. I'm gonna give those a nice big white base so that I can paint them a little bit more evenly. So I like to draw with my number 10 round brush. If that's too big for you, draw to a smaller one. Let's start with our cup. So my coffee cup or my hot cocoa cup is gonna start with a big oval and that's gonna be the top of the cup. From there, you can make your coffee cup any shape you want. I'm gonna bring mine down almost into like a rounded, almost like there's two parentheses on either side and a curved line at the bottom. My cup handle is going to be just a half of a heart. And then I can paint this whole space right here in. From there, I could take that brush and I'm gonna lay out my mouse. So my mouse head is gonna be a big old circle and it's gonna sit right here on the top of the handle. Now, as you can see, I made the circle, it's a little bit more like a teardrop shape. It's just a little bit smaller right up here at the top. Now I am making a cartoon-esque mouse, so it's not gonna be um, super realistic, but it's gonna be adorable. 
So I'm gonna take that same white paint, I'm gonna give two gigantic ears. I'm talking oddly huge, okay? Go ahead and paint those in as well. Now his mouse body is gonna be um, almost like a pear shape. So I'm gonna start right here by the ear and I'm just gonna kind of bring it down, flatten it out and bring it back up. Actually right behind that coffee cup. I probably won't even see the other side of it. And then his little mouse tail, I'm just gonna have it kind of wrap around this way. I'm only gonna make one foot and it's just gonna be kind of sticking right up here, coming off of his body. And he's gonna have, probably gonna make his hand come right around here. And his other one can wrap around from the other side. So just two little bumps there. I know this just looks like a blob of white right now, but I promise it won't when we're finished. But while this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my number six brown brush and I can make some snow and some um, snowflakes in the sky. So snowflakes, you can make them really easy. You can just make them like little starbursts where there's, you know, a plus sign. And then you can go in and add a cross next to it. And then if you're getting real fancy, you can go and put a couple of polka dots on the ends of those. So that's one way to make a snowflake. I'll make a couple like that. But my other favorite way of making a snowflake is just using the back of my brush and dropping dots everywhere. So I'm gonna jump into speed motion. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some snowflakes on here and then hopefully my mouse will be dry enough that we can add him with his hot cocoa in there. All right, so I did let my little mouse dry before I decided to come back to my video. Um, he just took a couple minutes to dry. But now I'm ready to move on to painting him. So on my palette, I am going to make um, a lighter brown because I don't want it to blend into the wood. So I've got my white right here. I'm just gonna take some brown and mix it in with my white until I have a really nice light brown from my mouse. Once you've got that really great light brown color, I'm not gonna color all of his ears in, but I am gonna color the outside edge of his ears and then his whole entire body, I'm gonna color with this really nice light brown color. Now that my mouse is covered in, I'm gonna go ahead, I think my pink's a little too bright, so I'm gonna do the same thing with some pink and some white. I'm gonna just mix the two together, make it a little bit of a lighter pink, and I'm gonna color those ears in with a, a really nice light pink color.
All right, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna finish off the cup and all those little mouse details. I'm gonna work on my hot cocoa cup, and to do that, I'm gonna start by painting it yellow. So I'm gonna leave the center space open for the hot cocoa, but I'm gonna paint the rest of my cup yellow because, well, I just feel like mice love cheese and that'd be a great color for a hot cocoa cup for a cute little mouse. Before I wipe that brush off, I'm gonna take some white paint and put it on this edge over here just to kind of lighten it up. Give it a little bit of look that it's a rounded edge and pull that color over. I can grab some brown paint and paint the center in. And then let's talk about our cute little mouse. So I'm gonna use the back of a pencil. Sometimes, and I hate to say it, I'm working on something and I just don't love it. So I decided to start over on the eye part. So even though this is a little bit out of order, now you know. So what I did was I made some eyes, I didn't love them. I figured out a way to fix it. So I like to use the back of a pencil sometimes to make some dots. And I'm gonna take that pencil and I'm gonna make two ovalish shapes that are the same size. From there, I'm just gonna wipe that off and grab some black paint. And I'm gonna add a small black dot right in the center. Don't worry if it's not perfect yet. It'll dry and we'll make it a little bit better, okay? So this is what I was going for before, but the first time I did it, I actually did the black and I tried to add the white to it and I added hair. It was, it was bad. It was bad, but, but I think I fixed it. So the same thing happened down here where I did my white first, then I did my black. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that when that dries, I could just go in with a second layer of black and it fixes the nose. So now let's zoom out and I will finish this painting. I'm gonna go in with my finger with a little bit of white paint right down here at the bottom of his mouth. Make a big white space. It's kind of a little bit of a rectangle shape, isn't it? But then I'm gonna use that black on my pencil again and put one little spot right there in the middle. I'm gonna grab my smallest little round brush with some water on it. And I'm gonna make a couple of little lines for some whiskers. Wipe that brush off. With that same brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of brown paint and I'm gonna just make a couple of little lines on his body. Maybe like where his arm kind of connects to his body, where his ear is, where the side of his head is. I don't have to do too many, just a couple of little detail lines to show some definition in our cute little mouse. take the back of my small paintbrush and I can drop a little highlight on his eyes. 
maybe a little bit of that brown paint. Oops, look, sometimes I make mistakes too. What you could do if you ever accidentally drop your paintbrush where you don't want it to go, put a little bit of water on your brush and you can usually wipe it right up. A little bit of water goes a long way when you're painting. And you just put that original color right back on top. And then for my cup, I'm going to put a purple heart on it. This little guy loves his hot cocoa. We're gonna let our little mouse dry. When we come back, we'll add in all of our final details. I am much happier with my choices. So now I can move on because I'm not disloving what's going on on my canvas. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a light pink paint and give him some rosy little cheeks, cute little mouse cheeks. Some of you guys might not love mice, but I think they're adorable. I can also go in with my smaller brush and some black paint and clean up those eye lines that I had. Make those a little bit more circular. I'm gonna give my heart a second coat of purple paint. It'd be really funny if you added the words I at the top of the heart and at the bottom write cheese because, well, it's a mouse and that's hilarious. All right, now let's talk about some highlights and our marshmallows, of course. Marshmallows, I like to just take my finger, throw a couple of marshmallows on my bowl right here. They can go any way you want them to go. But highlights are really important when you're painting because you want to focus on some parts of your picture that might have some light gathering on them. So anytime I do highlights, I try to hit like the tops of all of my objects, you know, the, the top of my cup. I like to choose like the top of the ears, the top of the head, the tops of things that might capture a little bit of light. And there we have it. I think our cute little mouse, other than one little highlight on his eye, use the back of my brush for that highlight, is finished. Don't forget, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you send it to me on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of the tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.